Okay, so we're quickly going to talk about the uh, Subtool Master, okay? So I have this bus right here, right? It has what looks like to be some pair of glasses, right? It's a bust, and then I have the teeth for the bust, right? But I have no eyes. And I also have a eye subtool, as you guys can see right here, that I've painted and modeled, right? And what I want to do, I want to incorporate it into this bust right here. And then I want to duplicate it without having to duplicate this subtool and then move it with a transpose tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to either append or insert. Okay, I'm going to click on insert. And I'm going to select the eye. And as you can see, I have the eye in the eye socket, right? So now I want to copy it to the opposite side. So the opposite side on X, right? You can see that I have my active symmetry with X on, right? My brush is being reflected. You can see the dots. So I'm going to select the eye subtool, right? I'm going to turn transparency and ghosting so we can see this happening. And on the top left of your UI, you will see the subtool master. If you cannot find it, go to Z plugins, subtool master. Okay. And if I select the subtool master, this little UI is going to show up right here. Okay. I can multi pen more than one subtool. I can mirror, merge, fill, and on and on. Okay. And these are very useful tools right here. The one that we're going to use is called the mirror. So when I click on mirror, right, it's going to ask me the following. Do you want to merge it into one subtool? I'm going to say yes. And please choose the mirror axis. So I'm going to select the X. And as soon as I hit OK, look what happens. All right. So it copied the eye and it put it in the same subtool as you can see. So this is how to use the subtool master to quickly duplicate elements of our sculpture.